Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Chen. Nice to see you today. So today we're going to learn about how to add using the standard algorithm. And today's objective is I can solve multi-step word problems using the standard algorithm and tape diagrams that assess my answer for usableness. And now you will need a piece of blank paper and pencil or whiteboard and marker. I will give you one minute to go get those materials. And before starting our lesson, I want to review the lessons we learned last week first. How to run to different place values. So let's look at this one right here. I will give you 10 seconds for you to think about how to say this number. Okay, so this number is 726,000. 354. And what digit is in the 10,000th place? The 10,000th place is this one right here. And um, the digit is 2 in the 10,000th place. And what's the value of digit 7? Digit 7 is right here. And the value for digit 7 that is 700,000. And run the number to the nearest 10,000. So when we try to run this number to the nearest 10,000, we have to look at the digit down the thousands place, which is 6. Here. And this number is bigger than 5. So we run this number up. And the answer is 730,000. And let's take a look at our second one. As soon as the first one, I will give 10 seconds for you to think uh, how to read this number. So this number is 50,271. And what digit is in the 10,000th place? 10,000th place is right here. And the digit in the 10,000th place is five. And what's the value of the digit seven? The seven is right here. And the value of the digit seven, that is 70. And round the number to the nearest 10,000. So same as the first one, when we try to round this number to the nearest 10,000, we have to look at the digit on the thousand place, which is zero right here. And this number is less than five. So we will round this number down. And the answer is 50,000. And that's all for round two different place values. Okay, and uh, after we finish the first review lesson, here's the second one, find the sum. So let's see this equation and read this um, problem with me. For 117 plus 232 equals. So um, we will draw a tape a diagram to represent this problem, which is I already have right here. And what are the two parts that make up the whole? 417 and 232. So let's record this in the tape diagram. So clearly we know 417 is bigger than 232. So I will label 417 this big right here. So this is 417. And this is 232. Now we're looking for the unknown part, which is the sum of these two numbers, and which is the whole tape diagram. I will label this unknown quantity with a letter A. We also call this variable. Okay, now since we know where we, look, uh, where we are look, uh, looking for, we'll start using our place value chart to represent the first number, 417. So we have 434 and 10. How many tens we have? One. And how many ones we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven. And for our second number, 232, we have two hundreds and three tens and two ones. And since we're doing the additional problem, we're putting all of them together. So how many ones do we have right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have nine right here. How many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, four tens. And how many hundreds do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, the total is 649, which is the which is is the whole tape diagram and also called variable letter A. And so the equation is 417 plus 232 equals 600, 649. That's for the first equation. And let's take a look at our second one. 683 plus 319 equals and I already have my tape diagram right here. And uh, clearly we know 683 is bigger than 319. So I will label 683 like this big right here. 83 and this part is for 319. Okay, and uh, let's start with our Label this whole tape diagram for letter A, variable letter A. This is what we're looking for. Okay, and let's do, let's put our first number inside our place value chart. So we have for 683, we have 600, eight tens. And three ones. And for 319, we have three hundreds. One, ten, and nine ones. Okay, and let's start putting them together. So, how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, let's group ten first. And it leaves two right here. And move to the tens place okay and how many tens we have right now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay let's group tens together and move to the hundred place now we have nothing left left out um and put extra dots right here and how many hundreds do we have right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Ooh, another ten can move to the thousand place. Okay, and also nothing left out. And how many do we have on um, the four thousand one? So for the total, we have one thousand two. So the equation is um, six thousand a six hundred eighty three plus three hundred nineteen equals one thousand two. Okay, and after we finish this review lesson, I think we're ready to start our new lesson. Okay, uh, so when we try to solve the additional word problem, we want to make sure to follow these four steps. The first one is organize information into a tape diagram. And the second step is set up equation. And third one is estimate your final answer and the fourth one is solve equation for final answer and assess for riskfulness so let's take a look at our first problem so the city flower shop sold 14,594 pink roses on valentine's day they sold 7,857 more red roses than pink roses how many um, pink, roll, uh, pink and red roses did the city flower shop sell all together on Valentine's Day? Use the tape diagram to show your work. Okay, so let's do the first one, the first step. Organize information into a tape diagram. So what information do we know after we finish reading the problem? We know they sold 14,594 pink roses on Valentine's Day, right? Which is said right here. And let's make a 
uh, to model this, let's draw one tape to represent the pink rose. Let's use this one. For pink rose, this tape represents 14,594. Okay, and uh, do we know how many red roses were sold? No, uh, but we know that there were 7,857 more red roses sold than uh, pink roses. So let's do for red roses. And this tape is for the red roses. And this amount is for pink roses, 14,594. And the red roses sold 7,857 more. Okay. And the second tape can be represent the number of red roses sold, the total number of the red roses sold. So what is the problem asking us to find? The total number of roses, right? And uh, we can draw a bracket to the side of both tapes. Let's label it R for pink and red roses. So after we have the diagram, it's time for the second step, set up an equation. So first, so uh, to find how many red roses were sold. So that's the equation will be 14,594 plus 7,857. So this is how many red roses. And we're trying to find how many pink and red roses did in uh, the city flower shop sell all together? So we also need to um, put down the pink roses, which is 14,594. That's for pink roses. And that will be our total amount of roses sell together on one time stay. And move to our third step, estimate your uh, final answer. So we have one number has five digit numbers and another one has four digit numbers. So we will round each number to the four digit number, um, which is near uh, to the nearest thousand place. So for this one, we can round to 14,591, we can round it to 15,000. Since the five digit, five digit number on the 100 place, that is equals to five, so we can round this number up. And 7,857, we can round it to 8,000. And same right here for this one. So what's uh, 15,000 plus 8,000, that is 23,000. And what's 23 plus 15? That is, that is equal to 38,000. So, um, our, our estimate final answer is 38,000, and which means um, our final answer should be close to 38,000. So let me write this one right here, 38,000. Okay, and we can move to our final step, solve equation for final answer and assess for usefulness. So let's start uh, solve the equation by using the standard algorithm. Okay. Let me erase this one first. Okay, so let's start with 14,594 plus 7,857. So four plus seven, that is 11. Put one up here, one plus nine, that is 10. 10 plus five is 15. And 
Um, put one up here, um, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 8, that is 14. And put one up here, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 7, that is 12. So 1 plus 1 is 22, and 22, okay. Um, and then let's plus the pink flowers, so which is 14,594. So 1 plus 4, that is 5. 5 plus 9, that is 14. So one up here, 1 plus 4, that is 5. 5 plus 5, that is 10. So 1 up here, 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 4, 7. 2 plus 1 is 3. So our total amount of the roses uh, sell all together on Valentine's Day, that is 37,045. So our final answer is this one. And we have to check for the risk bonus. And it is close to our estimate final answer, which is 38,000. Yes, it is close. So our answer is risk bonus. Okay, and since we finished the first problem, let's look at our second one. So same as the first one, we are also following these four steps. And let's read our second problem. On Saturday, 32,736 more bus tickets were sold than on Sunday. On Sunday, only 17,295 uh, tickets were sold. How many people bought bus tickets over the, uh, the weekend? Use the tape diagram to show your work. So how, um, so what information do we know after we finish reading the problem? We know they sold um, 17,295 tickets um, on Sunday. So let's draw one tape to represent the Sunday tickets. So for Sunday, this tape represents 17,295. And for Saturday, do we know how many tickets sold on Saturday? No, but it says uh, 32,736 more bus tickets were sold than on Sunday. So let's draw it. I, we know it's a little bit more than the tickets on Sunday. So this amount is for, this amount is same as the tickets on Sunday. And this extra part is for 32,736 more bus tickets. Okay, and what is the pro uh, what is the whole problem asking for? It asking for the total amount of bus tickets sold over the weekend. So we have to um, add all the tickets sold on Saturday and Sunday together. So we let's draw a huge bracket right here. Then put the T that represents the whole the total amount of bus tickets sold over the weekend. And move to the second step, set up equation. So since we already know what we're looking for, we're looking for the um the whole total amount of the bus tickets sold on the Saturday and Sunday. So we have to add these tickets all together. So let's 17,295 plus 17,295 plus 32,736. So this one is for Sunday and this is for Saturday. And equals, that will be the total amount. And move to the third step. Estimate your final answer. So we see um, there's one answer that, oh, Actually, two, uh, two numbers are with uh, five-digit numbers. We can uh, choose to run to the uh, five-digit numbers, which is the 10,000 place. And for 17,295, we can run it to 20,000. 20,000 plus, and this we can run to 30,000. So 20 plus 20, that is 40. 40 plus 30, that is 70. So 
70,000. So this is our estimate final answer, which is 70,000. And which means our final answer should be close to 70,000. Otherwise, your answer cannot be correct. Okay, and move to our final step. Solve equation for final answer and assess for reasonableness. So let us start solving the um, solving this equation by using the standard algorithm. So seventeen thousand two hundred ninety-five plus seventeen thousand two hundred ninety-five. So five plus five that is ten. The so one up here. One plus nine that is ten. Ten plus nine that is nineteen. And nine put one up here. One plus two that is three. Three plus two five. And seven plus seven that is fourteen. And put one up here. One plus one two. Two plus one three. And plus thirty two thousand seven hundred thirty six. So six plus zero six. Nine plus three that is two. Then put one up here. Uh, nine plus three that is twelve. So we put one up here. So one plus five is six, six plus seven is 13. One right here, one plus six, five, five plus two, seven, three plus three, six. So our total amount of ticket sold over the weekend, that is 67,326. And is this number close to our estimate final answer, which is 70,000? Yes, it is. So our answer is reasonable. Okay, and our third problem. We also have to follow these four steps. So last year, big bills, department stores sold many pairs of shoes. 118,214 pairs of boots were sold. 37,092 more pairs of sandals than pairs of boots were sold. And 124,417 more pairs of sneakers than pairs of boots were sold. How many pairs of shoes were sold last week? So, um, so what information do we know after we finish reading the problem? So we know they sold 118,214 pairs of boots um, last year. So let's make a bar for the boots first. This, this tape is for 118,214. And do we know how many pairs of sandals um, sold last year? No, we don't, but it says uh, 37,092 more pairs of sandals sold than the boots. So let's draw a tape for sandals that is a little bit bigger than the boots. So this part is the amount of boots. And this little extra part that is for 37,092 more, more pairs. And do we know how many sneakers sold last year? No, we don't, but it says 124,417 more pairs of sneakers sold um, than boots. So we can for sneaker. Oh. Sneakers. Okay, and just a little bit more than the sandals because 124,000 is bigger than 37,000. So this part still the same as the amount of the um, boots sold last year, 118,214. And this extra part is 124,417. And what is the uh, hope whole uh, word problem asking for. It asking for how many pairs of shoes were sold last year. So it's asking for the total amount of the shoes, boots, sandals, and sneakers sold last year. So we have to add them all. So I will put as for shoes. That is the total amount we're looking for. So we have to add um, 
all these numbers together so we can get our answer. So our equation will be 118,214. That is for the boots. And plus 118,214 plus 37,092. This is for the sandals. And plus 118,214 plus 124,417. So, and this is for the sneakers. And this will um, help us to get the total pairs of shoes. Um, and uh, let's move to the, uh, since we finished our second step, and let's move to our third step, estimate your final answer. So we see our uh, answer numbers, some of them are with six digit numbers and uh, there's one with uh, five digit numbers. So we can round our numbers to five digit numbers, which is 10,000 place. So for this one, we can round it to 120, oops. One hundred twenty thousand plus one hundred twenty thousand, and this can run to forty thousand and one hundred twenty thousand, and we can run this to one hundred twenty thousand. Okay, okay, and let's erase the diagram first. Okay, so 120 plus 120, that is uh, 240,000, and plus four, uh, 40,000, that is 280,000, and then plus 120, that is um, 400,000, and plus another 100,000. Uh, 120,000, that is 520,000. So our estimate final answer is 520,000. So which means our um, accurate um, total amount of pairs of shoes, it should be um, close to 520,000. Okay, and erase this part. Okay, and now let's move to the last step. So equation for final answer and the assess for riskfulness. So let's start to um, solve this uh, equation by using the standard algorithm. So 118,214 plus 118,214. So four plus four, eight. And two, one plus one, two, two plus two, four, eight plus eight, 16. We'll put one up here, one plus one, two, two plus one, three, one plus one, two. Okay, and add 37,092. Eight plus two, zero. Up, put one up here, one plus two, three, three plus nine, 12. Put one up here, one plus four, five, five plus five, five plus zero, five. And then six plus seven, 13. Oops. Put one up here, one plus three, four, four plus three, seven. And two, let's drape it down right here. And then plus 118,214.
zero plus four, four. Two plus one, three. And five plus two, seven. Three plus eight, eleven. The so one up here. One plus seven, eight. Eight plus one, nine. And two plus one, three. Three hundred ninety one thousand seven hundred thirty four plus the last one one hundred twenty four thousand four hundred seventeen so four plus seven eleven the one up here one plus three four four plus one five seven plus four and eleven put one up here one plus one uh two two plus four six and nine plus two that is eleven put one up here one plus three, four, four plus one, five. So our total amount of shoes were sold last year. That is 516,151. And is this a number close to our fi estimate final answer? 520,000? Uh, yes, it is. So our answer is reasonable. Okay, and now it is your time, um, your turn. I will give you six minutes uh, for you to complete this, um, this pro um, practice problem. Then we will come back together to go over the answers. And don't forget to use these four steps to help you solve the problems. Okay, and here is the answer key. I will give you 10 seconds to take a look. Okay, and let's start to um, take a look, go over the answers. Okay. So last year on test farm, his four cows um, produced the following liters of milk. The sheep produced 986 more liters of milk than by the cow. And how, the first question is, how many liters of milk did they see and this sheep produce? So we are looking for these two cows, the total amount of uh, liters of milk produced. And uh, basic milk, uh, um, amount of liters of milk, we, have, uh, we don't know yet, but we, it says basic produced 986 more liters of milk than buttercup, and we know buttercup's milk. So um, let's, Let's uh, solve the amount of liters of milk the uh, Bissy produced first. So it's um, buttercup is 7,087 and plus 986. So 7 plus 6 is 13. The one up here, 1 plus 8, 9, 9 plus Eight and seventeen. Uh, one plus zero one one plus nine that is ten. The so one up here and one plus seven is eight. So this actually produce eight thousand seventy three liters of milk. So since we know this is on um, either liters of milk produced, then we can uh, solve our first problem. So we will add 5,098 and 8,073. So 2 plus 3 is 5, 9 plus 7, 16. Put one up here, 1 plus 0, 1. And 5 plus 18, that is 13. So this is the amount that Daisy and Bessie produced. 13,100. 65. Okay, and how many liters of milk did Buttercup, Mary, and Bissy produced? So we know Buttercup, and we need Mary and Bissy. Okay, so A thousand seventy three plus. 9,980. So 3 plus 0, 3. 7 plus 8, that is 15. 
and put one up here, one plus nine, ten. Put one up here, one plus nine, uh, one plus eight is nine, nine plus nine is eighteen. And add one more, seven thousand eighty seven. Three plus seven, zero, uh, ten. Put one up here, one plus five, six, six plus eight, fourteen. One plus zero, one. And eight plus seven, fifteen. Put one up here, one plus one, two. So the total amount of milk uh, can the three cows produce that is 25,140. Okay, and let's look at our final one. How many liters of milk did all four cows produce? Okay, so since we know um, these three cows can produce 25,140 amount of milk, then we just need to add this is, um, amount of milk produced. Then we can know all four cows can produce uh, last year. So we just directly use 25,140 and plus 5,098. And that's our answer. So there, 0 plus 8, that is 8. Uh, 4 plus 9 is 13. Put 1 up here. 1 plus 1 is 2. 5 plus 5, 10. 1 up here. 2 plus 1 is 30. So 30,238 that can all four cows produce last year. So that's all for the independent practice. And uh, that's all for today's lesson. Um, so today we learned how to solve multi-step word problem using the standard algorithm and um, take the uh, diagrams, then assess the answer for reasonableness. And here are some resources you can use to practice more at home. So the first one, so the first one um, is called, let me see. So this website is called onlinemathlearning.com and um, it provides tons of worksheet and for additional problems it has different types of the worksheet like uh, additional worksheet, additional facts, number bonds, facts mem uh, families, additional without regrouping, additional with or without regrouping, chain additional, um, chain addition and you can also customize your own edition uh, worksheet. So it's really good resource for you to practice at home. And the third, the second one, the second one is this one right here. This website is ixl.com and uh, it provides a lot of additional word problems. And you just answer, um, put your answer right here inside the box and submit and it will give you more and directly tell you uh, if you get the answer correct or wrong. And the third one is called the Ken Academy. I think I showed you this website before. Um, this one, it provides you um, tons of um, additional numeric problem and words problem as well. So this one is for the uh, multi-digit numeric additional problem. And this one provides you. Okay, stop right here. On um, and this provides like three digit additional word problems right here. And also, you can see some comments right here. You can find we probably you can uh, find your answer. You're confused uh, from this comments as well, or you can communicate with other people online about additional problem as well okay so i think this website is really good for you to practice at home okay and that's all and uh, so remember that always practice the knowledge we just learned to consolidate your uh, in your head and i will see you next time and bye